Texas Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller was in Amarillo earlier this week talking about some of his priorities this year, starting out with all important water. Our Kaylee Green has the story as we look at part of our High Plains agriculture coverage. Ag Commissioner Sid Miller says as Texas grows in population, something he's focused on is water conservation. We have a 50 year water plan and it's a good one, but it's 30 years old. So, you know, there's about 18 million people when we did that water plan. Now we're up to almost double that. So we've got to uh, take a new look at it. We, we've got to come up with some new innovation, use new technology, desal, rainwater catchment, rainwater harvesting. Uh, we've got to be a better steward of recycling our water, not, not wasting it. State Senator Kevin Sparks says if passed, Senate Bill 28 would help establish a long-term water plan for all of Texas. It's going to look at, one, conservation, which we can always improve on, and there's already been some places identified, but there are, there are likely other places that we can improve upon um, conservation. But it's also going to look at what are some of our water sources that potentially could be um, turned into good potable water. Plus, Miller says many Texas cities spend millions of dollars to get rid of stormwater drainage. So we could turn a liability into an asset. And rainwater's pretty clean. It doesn't take much to clean it up. Uh, you don't even have to clean it up if you want to use it for irrigation or municipal use or manufacturing. You can use it just as is. Another priority for Miller, getting farmers to fill out the Ag Census. It's already due, but Miller says it helps with writing legislation, including the Farm Bill. When that we get the numbers in from the census, then we can tell about how much cotton is being planted, what the planting intentions are. We can forecast the price of milk and beef and pork. It just, it just helps us plan, do our long-range planning. He also acknowledged that many High Plains producers are struggling due to the drought. Our farmers are very resilient. They know how to come uh, overcome adversity because they face it all the time, whether it be drought or hail storms or floods or freezes or market fluctuations or COVID or, you know, it's just, uh, uh, it's, it's always a challenge. Miller talked also talked about the Agri Stress Helpline, which is available for Texas ag producers at no cost to them. If you or someone you know is struggling, call or text the number on your screen. That's 833-897-2474. To catch that number again and to see the full interview with Commissioner Miller, head to myhighplains.com.